in the heart of the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered ancient secrets and the river sparkled with magic, there lived a clever crow named Caden. Caden was known far and wide for his intelligence and quick wit, which made him a legend among the woodland creatures. One day, as Caden perched on a sturdy branch, overheard a conversation between two mischievous fairies, Sparkle and Glitter. They were discussing a magical fellow, a mystical device that granted free wishes to whoever possessed it. The fellow was hidden deep within the forest, guarded by the wise old owl, Orla Caden. Intrigued by the idea of the fellow, decided to seek it out. As he flew through the forest, he encountered Finley the fox, known for his slyness and charm. Ah, Caden, my feathered friend, what brings you to these parts? Finley inquired, his eyes gleaming with curiosity. Caden, always one for a clever exchange, replied, I'm on a quest to find the magical fella said to grant three wishes to whoever possesses it. Care to join me? Finley's is perked up at the mention of wishes. A fella, you say? Count me and Caden. Together, the crow and the fox ventured deeper into the forest, guided by the whispers of the ancient trees. Along the way, they encountered challenges, a mischievous sprite who tested their wit, a river that could only be crossed with a riddle, and a field of enchanted flowers that spoke in rhymes. Despite the hurdles, Caden's cleverness and Finley's cunning allowed them to overcome each obstacle. Finally, they reached the majestic tree where all of the owl perched, her wise eyes observing their every move, seeking the fella. Are you? Orla hooted, her voice echoing through the forest. Caden and Finley nodded, and with a twinkle in her eyes, Orla presented them with the fella a small, shimmering orb that radiated magical energy. Now, Orla spoke. Each of you is granted three wishes. Chew wisely, Finley, eager to make the most of his wishes, blurted out his desire's riches a crown, and the ability to fly without wings. Cajun, however, paused and thought deeply. He whispered his wishes, his eyes reflecting a thoughtful gleam. As the wishes were granted, Finley found himself shrouded by gold and jewels, wearing a crown that sparkled in the sunlight. He leapt into the air, expecting to soar like a bird only to discover that his wishes were quite literal. He now had a collection of wings, each more extravagant than the last. Cajun, on the other hand, had wished for harmony among the forest creatures, a bountiful harvest for all, and the gift of laughter that echoed through the enchanted forest. As Finley grumbled about his literal wings, Caden explained, True wisdom lies in understanding the consequences of our wishes. I wished for what would bring joy and harmony to our home. And so, as the clever crow and the winged fox returned to their enchanted abode, the forest resonated with laughter, shared riches, and a newfound appreciation for the magical thoughtful wishes. In the heart of the enchanted forest, where the clever crow and the fox's wishes had taken root. A vibrant tapestry of harmony unfolded it a testament to the power of wisdom, cleverness, and the magic that thrived within the enchanted forest.